An energy density exists at any point in space where an electric field is present. This is given by one half times the permittivity of free space times the magnitude of the electric field squared. Let's see if we could show this result. To show this, we're going to just take a parallel plate capacitor. We have a parallel plate capacitor, and let's say there is a charge positive Q on the upper surface of this capacitor and negative Q on the lower surface of this capacitor. Because this capacitor is maintaining a charge separation, that means there is an electric field between the plates of the capacitor. Now, as we've discussed previously, this electric field is uniform if we have that the distance of separation between the two plates of the capacitor is small in comparison to the size of the capacitors. Now, of course, there's going to be a little bit of electrical fringing on the edges, but really these can be neglected as long as our separation distance is large or as long as our separation distance is small in comparison to the size of the capacitors. And a representation of the size of the capacitor is in the form of the area of the capacitor plates. Now, our goal is to find the energy density of this electric field. This electric field, as we said, has the ability to give a charge potential energy in it. And we could talk about the density of that energy. This being over a volume of space, this energy density is going to be a volume density and it's going to be a volume density over the volume in which the electric field is present. So we're going to signify that energy density with a lowercase u. And that lowercase u is going to correspond to energy. And in this case, it's the energy stored by the capacitor. So we will say the energy of the capacitor over the volume of space in which the electric field occupies. So let's determine, let's figure out what we need to determine the energy density due to this electric field. We need to know the potential energy stored by a capacitor. And that potential energy stored by a capacitor, we've previously shown that it's equal to one half the capacitance times the potential difference across the capacitor plates squared. So this means that the energy density is equal to one half the capacitance times the potential difference across the plate squared over the volume of the region of space we're interested in. So notice for, for this parallel plate capacitor, our region of space is rectangular. So we have a, a rectangular area. So let's write volume is equal to that rectangular area, A, times the distance, the thickness of that region of space. So we have the volume of this region of space is equal to A times D. Well, our goal, remember, is to show that this energy density is equal to one half times the permittivity of free space times the magnitude of the electric field squared. So somehow we're going to have to convert the potential difference into electric field and in, into the other quantities that we have. We're going to have to express capacitance in terms of those other quantities because what we should have left should only be 
that one half, which we already have, the permittivity of free space and the electric field. We've shown previously that the potential difference in a uniform electric field along an axis that's parallel to the electric field is equal to minus the magnitude of the electric field times the distance we, we go from one point to another in that electric field that is parallel to some positive axis. So this gives us the potential difference between the upper plate and the lower plate, where we are holding the lower plate to be the plate of lower potential. We could say zero if we wanted to, and the upper plate to be the plate at higher potential. So we now have an expression for the potential difference, and this being a parallel plate capacitor, we know the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is equal to the permittivity of free space, times the area of a plate divided by the separation distance. So we have enough here now to determine the expression for energy density of our electric field. The energy density is in the numerator 1 half times the capacitance epsilon naught a over the separation distance between the plates times the potential difference, which is minus E, the magnitude of the electric field, times the separation distance D, that quantity squared. And this is divided by A times the area times the separation distance. Now look at what we have here. We have an area in the numerator cancels with an area in the denominator. We have a distance squared in the denominator canceling with the distance squared in the numerator. This gives us that the energy density, lowercase u, is equal to 1 half times the permittivity of free space times the magnitude of the electric field squared. What this reveals to us is that this capacitor the electric field established by the plates of this capacitor stores energy, and the amount of energy per volume is based strictly on the magnitude of that electric field. And the cool thing about this is if you double the electric field, your energy density goes up by four. If you triple the electric field, your energy density goes up nine times. You pack a lot of energy with a little bit amount of electric field. And even though we showed this result for a parallel plate capacitor, it happens to be true for any electric field that the energy density of the electric field, the energy per unit volume, is equal to one half times the permittivity of free space times the magnitude of the electric field squared.